how do you gain experience as a sound designer when every potential client is looking for someone who already has experience? Well, there are a ton of different ways to actually start working on projects when you're first starting out and you don't have much experience in the industry. What you're gonna wanna focus on are small and likely free games that you're gonna be working on. And the place I recommend you start finding those are what are known as game jams. Now, game jams are basically 48 hour to week long events or anywhere in between where people get together either in a location or online and make a game in a super short period of time. Sometimes it's a Halloween theme or sometimes it's themed around something else. Usually they use a theme to guide all the teams in one kind of general direction so everyone can make a game, but everything always turns out radically different from one another. Now, some game jams to look into are things like the Global Game Jam, which is coming up in January, or Ludum Dare, and I'm putting links of all of these down below this video. And there are even websites that list out all the game jams that are happening in the world. So look up some in your area or even join some that are purely online as a sound designer and join some teams, maybe even multiple, because oftentimes you're not doing a ton for one game during a game jam and join those and start working with them so you can gain an appreciation of what it's like to actually work on a team, even if it's in a super short period of time. Something else you can start doing is also reaching out to student game development programs. So you can start working with students and student game developers and reaching out to the professors, deans, people in those departments and saying that you are a sound designer, composer, whatever it may be, and you'd love to provide some of your services to the local students would be a great way to actually get some experience in working in games. Now, we'll be Will these be the greatest gigs ever? No, probably not. But you'll gain some idea of how games work and slowly but surely you'll start to build up a portfolio and up your level of skill to the point where eventually it'll become that of a professional. Now this takes a very long time, so don't assume you're gonna become a pro after just working on two or three free games. So if you enjoyed that game audio FAQ, please make sure to subscribe and click the little bell so you get notified, literally what every other YouTuber on the planet tells you to do. And also sign up for my newsletter where I give you access to two free courses that'll teach you how to work, negotiate, network, and get paid in the game industry.